Hello students, greetings to every one of you. I am Dr. F. Sweetlin Jai Christie, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Professional Accounting, the Standard Firex Rajaratnam College for Women, Sivahasi. Hope this smart session will bring you a lot of information. Let's straight away get into this today's topic. You already know about the various forms of business organization that is sole proprietorship, partnership and Hindu undivided family. Let's learn about joint stock company today. That's are some drawbacks in the previous forms of business organization to overcome that limitations we have started this joint stock company. Joint stock company has registered under the Companies Act 2013. Whatever the formalities we have prescribed in this 2013 Act, according to that we have filled up everything, then only we can start this joint stock company. That is a registration, formalities, a documentation, everything should be submitted properly, then only we can start this joint stock company. In India, joint stock companies are governed by the Companies Act 2013. According to this Act, company means a company formed and registered under this Act or existing company. An existing company means a company formed and registered under any of the previous Act. A joint stock company or simply a company is a voluntary association of persons generally formed for undertaking some big business activity. It is established by law and can be dissolved by law. The company has separate legal existence so that even if its members die, the company remains in existence. Its members contribute money for some common purpose. The money so contributed constitute the capital of the company. The company capital of the company is divided into small unit called shares. Since the members invest their money by purchasing the share of the company, they are known as shareholders and the capital of the company is known as joint stock company. Now we can discuss about the characteristics of the joint stock company. You are now familiar with the concept of a company. Let us now study in its characteristics. First one, artificial person. A company is an artificial person created by law. It is an artificial person because it is invisible, intangible. It exists only in contemplation of law. It is considered as a legal person which can be entered into contracts, own property in its own name, sue and can be sued by others. Next slide. The next characteristics of a joint stock company is voluntary association. A joint stock company is a voluntary association of persons formed to carry out a specific purpose in common. The members of the company can join it and leave it as per their own will. The next characteristics of the company is common seal. Since a company has no physical existence, it must act through its board of directors. But all contracts entered by them shall have to be under the common seal of the company. This common seal is the official signature of the company. Any document with a common seal and duly signed by an officer of the company is binding on the company. Next slide. The next characteristics of a joint stock company is perpetual existence. The company enjoys continuous existence. Death, lunacy, insolvency or retirement of the members does not affect the life of the company. It goes on forever. Since it is created by law, it can only be dissolved by law. Next characteristics of the company is limited liability of members. The company forms of business is able to attract a large number of people to invest their money in shares because it offers them the facility of limited risk and liability. The liability of a member is limited to the extent of the amount of shares he holds. 
in other words a shareholder can be held liable only to the extent of the face value of the shares he holds and if he has already paid it which is normally the case he cannot be asked to pay any further amount the next characteristics of the joint stock company is transferability of shares the members of the company that means public company are free to transfer their shares held by them to others as and when they like they do not need to consent of other shareholders to transfer their shares the last characteristics of the company is separate legal entity a company has a separate legal entity from its member a company bears its own name acts under the name he has a seal of its own and is its assets are separate and distinct from those of its member it is capable of owning property make contracts and file suits in its own name the members of the company or the owners however they can be the creditors of the company at the same time a shareholder cannot be held liable for the act of the company the shareholders are not the agent of the company so they cannot bind it by their acts these are all the characteristics of the joint stock company hope you enjoyed this session happy to meet again with a new topic next time thank you